Okay, everyone, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your 3.1.2 firmware iPod Touch. You'll need to have it connected to the computer. And I'll show you this is um, 3.1.2. So, what you're going to do is you're going to download Black Rain. And you're going to click on it. I'll have it in the description over there. And then you're going to, it's going to look like this. And then you're just going to click Make It Rain. And it should say Entering Recovery. And your iPod Touch should do that. Or iPhone. And it should say iTunes detected iPod recovery mode. You must restore. You're just going to exit that. It should show a picture of GeoHot. Or whoever that is. And the spinning wheel. It's going to exit iTunes. And it's this is what it should say. Enjoy your jailbroken iPhone. Your jailbreak is done once it reboots. It was the sim If it was the simplest jailbreak ever, please donate via PayPal. So for feature develop if you paid anything for the software, demand a refund. Available from free from blackrain.com. Funded solely on after that fact donations. And then once your um thing is done, it should reboot as you see it's happening. It should reboot. This is actually pretty easy. This is definitely the simplest jailbreak ever. And I've done this this is my third time doing this. So, it's going to show. You should hear that chime. That means your iTunes going to open because they detected your iPhone or iPod. And then your iPhone or iPod should reboot. And slide in. I jailbroke it before, so I still have all this stuff. And you, you will only have black rain when you finish it. And you're gonna open Black Rain, and it should say Cydia and Rock. And there should be another one which is update your Black Rain app, which I already did, so it's not gonna be there. You can install Cydia by clicking it and clicking install, which I already have it. And that's basically it. It's the best jailbreak. Well, it's the easiest one, and there's only one catch to this. For the iPod Touch 3rd gen, which mine isn't, this is the 2nd gen. The catch is it's tethered. If you don't know what that means, that means if you turn it off and you turn it back on, it won't be jailbroken anymore. So you just have to run this program every time that happens, but I don't think it's going to be a problem because it's pretty easy. So I'm just going to exit this iTunes. And then... Enjoy your jailbroken iPod. That's it.